Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. Now today I'm doing a collaboration with another artist. So as you know, I'm based in the UK and the artist that I'm working with is based in the United States. And the idea is I give that artist three things about the place where I live and they give me three things about the place that they live. And we do a little bit of research and we come up with a colour palette that will um, represent those places. So I'm really proud to be working with uh, Brian from Brian's Upper Valley Artistry. And the three things that Brian gave me was he loves to go out on bike rides um, in, in wooded trail areas. And there's a lot of green and yellow vibrant colours. So that's going to form a basis of my colour palette. And his birthstone is blue sapphire. So I'm going to choose a blue tone to go uh, with that as well. And I know Brian grew up in a huge beach town, um, Virginia Beach in Virginia. And I've done a bit of research. There's a lot of primary colours there that I can use as well. So I'm really excited for this. You'll see what I create for Brian. And then if you check out Brian's YouTube channel, He's going to create a piece with the three things I've given him. I'm really excited. So let's see what we can create. OK, so I will list all the colours in the description, but I've got a gold, a yellow, um, I've got a green and I've got a blue tone. I've got burnt sienna and I've got a copper. And I'm going to use those as my colour palette to design Brian's piece. And this is a deep edge canvas and I'm really excited. So... Let's go, let's see what we can create. Okay, so I have painted the sides of this and I am using um, quite a lot of blue on one side of this because um, blue is Brian's favorite color and it's also his birthstone. So blue sapphire is his birthstone. I'm using a king's blue. Um, I think this is gonna be perfect just to represent that part of this challenge. Um, I wanna cover the, the full half of this canvas and then in the other half I'm going to use the other combinations of the colour palette to um, to make this creation. So I'm just going to blow out the, um, the blue colour and um, make sure my canvas is covered. I want to make sure that there are no big puddles of paint because when I blow over the other colours I want the flow to um, to go well on, on that piece. I um, I wanted to use the blue because with it being Brian's birthstone, I'm also a fan of blue and I love some of the blues and the blue tones out there. And I think if you've seen any of my uh, previous creations, you know I'm also a big fan of, of blue. Okay, so I'm going to lay some of the, the yellow tone now next to the, the blue tone. And obviously as I blow those across each other, that's also gonna create a green. But obviously the yellow is so vibrant and I hope this is the bit that reminds Brian he, he loves the outdoors and I know when he's on his bike rides in the uh, wooded trail areas there's lots of greens and yellows which are really vibrant so I wanted to use these two tones of yellow to represent that part of the challenge. Um, I'm going to blow those across each other so with the blue so that will create a green, but I'm also going to add a green. Um, again, that's going to represent the, the wooded trail and also some of the uh, primary colours um, in the in the beach town that, that Brian grew up in, Virginia Beach. Um, I'm going to use this, this lovely copper and burnt sienna colour as well. Again, just to, to kind of reflect and represent the, the wooded areas. Um, Brian, I really, really hope that you're enjoying this piece and I hope you love the colours that I've chosen uh, for your creation. I'm adding um, a dash of gold in there as well. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit more just around the edges. I do love the copper because it's. I, I found that this copper creates some nice lacing when it's blown across other paints. Let me just add a little bit more of the yellow tone. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to blow all the paints into one to create a combination on one side. And then hopefully it's going to create some cells and some lacing. Okay, let's do this.
let's take you in for a closer look. So this is obviously the wet version. Um, I love how crisp blue that one side is. And look at those cells and that lacing there with some of that blue undertone. I really like this piece. And I hope, Brian, I really hope you've enjoyed watching me create this for you. And I hope I've captured some of the tones that that reflect the places that you've given me. This is the dried version. It's dried really, really well, and I'm so happy with this. I love that blue colour, and I can see why blue is a favourite colour. I'm also a big fan too. I hope you guys have really enjoyed this, and I'm so proud to have been able to work with Brian on this collaboration, uniting the US and the UK creatively. Thanks so much for watching. I'd love to know what you think, so please drop any comments below and I'll make sure that I read all of them. Don't forget to check out Brian's channel as well. Here's some further close-ups of the lacing and some of the cells. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye.